Last week, Sergeant Frank Wooderick, the Marine charged with ordering the slaughter of 24 Iraqi civilians in Haditha in 2005, finally got what he had coming to him. No more easy life for Sergeant Wooderick. No, sir. Because in the U.S. Marines, if you order the killing of 24 unarmed brown civilians, it's zero tolerance. You will be busted down to private. Sergeant Wooderick confessed to ordering his men to shoot first and ask questions later in Haditha. He was feeling dark over losing one of his men in a nearby roadside bombing. So he channeled Chuck Norris and evened it up with a couple of dozen Iraqi lives. Later, when the questions were asked, witnesses said Marines murdered 24 men, women, and children, including one guy in a wheelchair. The official story was initially that the Haditha civilians were killed by an IED, then that they were killed in a crossfire between Marines and insurgents, except there were no insurgents. So there's an ongoing military inquiry into the cover-up. But don't hold your breath. Wooderick was the last remaining defendant for the Haditha massacre. All the others already had their charges dropped. So the American military stopped at nothing to get a confession from Wooderick. They used escalating duress tactics. First, they charged him with murder. Then, involuntary manslaughter. Then, aggravated assault. Finally, Wooderick broke and pled guilty to dereliction of duty. And for coming clean, instead of facing death for war crimes, or 152 years for manslaughter, or even three months for dereliction of duty to which he pled guilty, Wooderick got demoted. The truth really does set you free. But at least the Haditha Marines were charged. No charges whatsoever were laid against two Marines who commanded a unit that did a 10-mile drive-by shooting in Afghanistan in 2008. They killed 19 people and gravely wounded 50 more like they were playing Grand Theft Humvee. And for the dudes currently in stateside bunkers flying the drones that so far killed 3,000 people, including at least 500 civilians, war actually is a video game. But I grew up in the age of Pong. I still remember the My Lai massacre in Vietnam. Lieutenant William Calley, who ordered those villagers killed, served three and a half years of his life sentence, albeit under house arrest. But the reports of the massacre and the trial of Lieutenant Calley were all over the evening news, on every channel. Public outrage over that massacre helped end the Vietnam War. And My Lai is now synonymous with atrocity. Man, I miss Walter Cronkite. But Haditha will go underreported and unremembered just as it has gone unpunished. Haditha will just be a Wikipedia page for the curious, an agonizing memory for the survivors, and a rallying cry for jihadists. And for lack of an independent media, Americans will continue to shoot first and ask questions later. Fox will cheerlead the shooting, and Hollywood will answer the questions nobody asks later with zero dumb movies. It reminds me of the old Russian joke, Comrade, the only difference between American propaganda and Soviet propaganda is the Americans actually believe theirs. In Toronto, for Apple TV, I'm Umberto Da Silva, not Rex Murphy.